Hello YouTube. I'm here today in my versus series doing another network testing between T-Mobile and Verizon. Today I am going to be putting T-Mobile's ultra capacity 5G directly against Verizon's ultra wideband. So right now I'm near a ultra wideband node uh, it's literally across the street from me and I'm downtown DC on the mall so if you look at the map here Verizon's on the right T-Mobile is on the left you can see that Verizon has a much tighter grid for DC downtown than uh, T-Mobile has for the same exact spot the same exact place so Verizon's connectivity on the mall is way better. I will say that. Um, what we're gonna do is, let's center this up, is compare these two networks directly head to head. So the first thing we're gonna do is speed test through Google and test. So the ultra wideband is outperforming T-Mobile's ultra capacity layer. But T-Mobile has less towers and doing pretty good with the speeds also. All right, so 494 down, 116 up with a 21 millisecond uh, latency. Verizon with its ultra wideband is 644 down and 40 megabits up with a 12 millisecond latency. So now I do have to say that Verizon's ultra wideband right now is being upgraded to Samsung um, panels. So the one I am connected to is Nokia this thing keeps going in and out, so it's gonna take me a moment to be able to um, do the test because I wanna keep everything comparative the same. As you can see, we are connected to ultra wideband, but those speeds should be better. I'm not sure why I'm not connecting full throttle, but it is connected to ultra wideband. I do want to show you the performance of the ultra wideband also. All right, so 630 down, uh, 112 up for T-Mobile, 389 down, 43 up for Verizon, 12 millisecond ping for T-Mobile, 17 millisecond ping for uh, Verizon so I'm probably gonna come back to that one because I really want to test and see how fast it can go all right fast.com redo three hundred megabit uh milli megabits down and 360 for verizon all righty so the only time you're able to get above 4.1 which is 720p is when you are connected to millimeter wave so it the connection keeps coming in and out so i'm gonna see if i can try to catch it one more good time when it comes back Oh, there's a bus in the way. Please bear with me, people. Come on, Mr. Bus. Launch. Get rid of. It's an airplane mode. It. One, two, three.
I really want people to see the millimeter wave test at its fullest. And look like uh, Verizon's 5G has performance anxiety. Hold on one second. Alrighty, let's see if it'll perform for me now. There we go. 2.3 megabits, per, gigabits per second. 2.3 gigabits per second, 18 millisecond ping and one millisecond jitter. So if I can keep this connection for just a little bit longer. And 44 megabits up. Imperv. And three two, one, go. Uh, we're not in ultra wideband on Verizon. So it's not gonna be, it's not gonna perform as well. going through the browsing test let's see and T-Mobile's on to the streaming test Three sixty P. Seven twenty P for both of them. And ten eighty P for T Mobile. Verizon's already done. So the switching back and forth between uh, ultra wideband and LTE is kind of real, real janky for Verizon right now. They are upgrading a ultra wideband that's another two blocks away from my location. So I will come back and do this test again. Hopefully these new panels, which are supposed to be Samsung panels, will perform way better than the Nokia ones that I'm connected to right now. But the last test for today is the download test PUBG PUBG install install over the network three two one go alrighty so we at 12% to 9 26 to 12, 37 to 17, we're at 53 to 26, 64 to 36, 87 to 46, 93 to 53, and done. So on this test, T-Mobile got this one. I really wish I could have got the millimeter wave to kick in on the next go round, hopefully. Thank y'all for watching. Please uh, like the video if you, uh, if it was helpful to you. Uh, subscribe to see more videos and I'll see you again. Thank you.